I may have an idea here, I'm just thinking out loud now, but it seems to me that it's up to us to convince this gentleman that we're right and he's wrong. Oh well, I just think he's guilty. I thought it was obvious. I mean, nobody proved otherwise. Nobody has to prove otherwise. The burden of proof is on the prosecution. The defendant doesn't have to open his mouth. That's in the Constitution. Have you heard of the Fifth Amendment? Well, sure, I've heard of it. I know what it is. Well, I know what I've meant. And I think he's guilty. Okay, let's get to the facts. Number one, let's take the old man who lives two stories underneath where he said the crime had occurred. He said that around 10 minutes after 12, he heard loud noises coming from upstairs. He said it sounded like a fight. Uh, then he said he heard the kid run to his father and say, I'm gonna kill you. And I think a second later he heard a body falling and he ran to the door of his apartment, looked out and saw the kid running down the stairs out of the house. Then he called the police. They found the father with a knife in his chest. And the coroner fixed the time of death at about midnight. Is there anything else you wanna know? The boy's entire story is pretty flimsy, right? He claims he was at the movies. Pretty ridiculous, isn't it? I can't even remember the pictures he saw. That's right. Did you hear that? It's absolutely right. Look, what about the woman across the street? If her testimony doesn't prove it, then nothing does. That's right. She saw the killing, didn't she? Just a minute. Here's a woman who's lying in bed and can't sleep. It's hot, you know. Anyway, she looks out the window, and right across the street, she sees the kid stick the knife into his father. She's known the kid all his life. His window is right opposite hers across El Trash and she swore she saw him there. Through the windows of a passing elevated train, 